I don't even know where to begin. Um, I came down here because of Sincere. Uh, you know, I'm knowing this brother, knowing the work that he does, and he was just telling me about how real it was, how crazy it was down here, and saying, you know, that if I had time, I should come down. And then he was like, fuck it, even if you don't have time, make time. We need you down here. <laughs> My intentions really was just to come down here and drop off goods and get some black people and get them out of here. But uh, my main job is to uh, go out and um, set up uh, other outposts so we can serve people down in locations that's basically been forgotten about, um, like Homer, uh, Dulac, Smithfield and that's no Smith Ridge and uh, now I'm out in Plaquemine Parish. If we don't have what you want, we want y'all to like tell us what you need. I know cleaning supplies definitely gonna be on the list, right? We're gonna have cleaning supplies for you and everything, okay? We're gonna be out there. 8, 8 a.m. shop tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Common ground relief. No offense, we're not red cross or FEMA. Uh -huh. Common ground relief. Look, now we're gonna have somebody with us walking with us this morning, yeah? Yeah? Come here. <laughs> and as you can see, he more walk me than me walking him. <laughs> this is my morning exercise, letting him drag me around. <laughs> now we have passed out, uh, what, close to uh, over 40 tons of food. We have uh, passed out something like about 16,000 gallons of water, at least about uh, eight or 9,000 pounds of ice. 15,000 boxes of MREs. We have served over 2,000 of almost 2,500 people at the health clinic. And, uh, and Sunday, tomorrow, will just be one month that we've been open. And the government have yet to come over to offer us any type of support. There's actually a roadblock set up just down the street here in between Algiers, which is part of New Orleans, and Gretna. I'm a town. And Algiers is mostly lower class, black people. Gretna has like this white middle class community and there had been roadblocks set up from one to the other. And folks from Algiers couldn't cross over into Gretna and you had to go through Gretna to get to the only pharmacy that was operating in West Jefferson. So we started basically escorting people through, these, through the roadblocks because we could get through with our scrub tops and you know, our white faces. It was like a normal hurricane, a lot of wind, debris flying around. And then when the water came up, it rose from maybe eight inches that Katrina left of rainwater, clear water, you could see your foot in it. And uh, within a half an hour, it rose to six feet. And it looked like like the Colorado Rapids, you know, Rapids. I expect a little guy to come flying through on the, on the canoe. and. People had to scramble and get to doing things right quick, you know. So we, we grabbed boats and saved people, took care of people, brought people in, and uh, they were the lucky individuals. The city had 120 buses right here and refused to use them. So young brothers started going over there taking them. You dig? And they was riding around picking up people, going back in their neighborhood getting busloads of people taking them out of town. And the city refused to do anything but attack. But if you look at the big picture, we here to provide a security for the people of New Orleans to keep the criminals off the streets. Now their rights when they come here are not violated. They get medical treatment. You know, they treat it fairly, they get three meals a day, they get water, they get food, they get blankets, they get clothing, they get showers. I mean, you know, besides, there's nothing else that I can do for them to make them more comfortable. The the no, they do not have cots. The bus station is being called Angola South. Um, Angola is the the uh, prison here in, in New Orleans. It's, it's been notoriously brutal, uh, brutal as far as prisons go. Essentially, these snatch squads are grabbing people off the streets for various reasons, bringing them down into the system, and essentially getting labor, free labor out of them. 
What do you say to them um, saying that they've been pepper sprayed here? I have randomly had to use it since we've been here. When do you, when do you use it? We have to use it if they're endangering other people in the pen or they're endangering their life. You know, I mean, look, look at, look at the facility we have. You know, it's, 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 it's an old bus terminal. You know, they made this courtroom out of like one of the rooms in the in the Greyhound station. There's a judge and everything. And then he's like, and then the good news is, if you all plead guilty, you'll get 40 hours of community service, and and um, and you know, you'll be out of here this morning. Everybody, of course, pleaded guilty. You know, who's going to sit at Hunts for three weeks, waiting their trial to hear, you know, get their their time in court? when 40 hours of community service is, 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 you know, obviously better than that. Yeah, I mean, the situation down here is real. You know, just seeing the trees bent sideways, seeing the the roofs, you know, missing tiles, big holes in them, you know, the devastation is is something I've never seen before. You know, you you watch it on the news, but you know, we were we were talking before how we wished we could just bottle it up and and open it for folks.